Okay. Next question. I am an ISTJ and my spouse an, I, an ISFJ. Something that stood out from an article I read recently was observed uh, was the observation that IJs can often obsess over something they said that they feel awful about, uh, only to find out that the other person don't even doesn't even remember it, or if they do, it hardly affected them. I realize that this happens for both me and my wife all the time. How can we learn not to take things so personally? This is a great question. So. The first thing to remember is that there's a difference between taking things seriously and taking things personally. So you might think about something that you said to somebody uh, and you weren't happy with what you said to them and you wish you would have said something different. You can take that seriously and make a commitment to, to not do that again, to change your conduct uh, without taking it personally, which means that I've hurt this other person. When we take things really personally, it basically means that we are still more concerned about ourselves than we are at the other person. Because the most um, caring thing, like if you truly uh, worry about how the other person was affected by what you said, you would ask them instead of making judgments about what, you know, what you've done, because you don't know how it's affected them. As you said, you know, it might not hardly affected them at all, or they don't even remember it. Now, What's causing this probably is your inward facing sensing part, which happens, which is bo in both of you is in the grown up space. So it's either your uh, adult self or it's your inner parent. And it sounds to me like for both of you, there's been too much of a um, like a negative um, history to go with this kind of thing. So it's almost like you've created the, the, the historian or the, the inward facing sensor part of you, it has this amazing power to either turn something, you know, negative and then continue down the negative road or turn something into a positive and then, you know, go down, keep going down that positive uh, road. So oftentimes what the historian is really good at is, um, is escalating what's already going on. So if it's a positive thing, then they escalate the positive. If it's a negative thing, then they escalate the negative. So it sounds to me like both of you are struggling with this particular challenge when it comes to other people. So both of you might have an injury around this where you were made feel bad about something that you said before, and now it's just stuck in you and you've escalated more of that. And, and now it's become like an, an and anticipation that whatever you say is going to hurt the other person, no matter how it was meant. Now, if that's the case, then um, the way that you work through that is you ask the other person, hey, how did that sound for you? You know, I didn't mean to be, um, uh, I didn't mean to be rude, or I hope I didn't offend you, or, you know, that you check in with them as opposed to your own internal point of reference, because your own internal point of reference could actually be wrong. As you've just said, you know, it hardly affected them or it didn't even register. So the challenge with the inward facing sensing part is that it, um, it tends to believe itself more than anything else. And that's th true with all the inward face in the self-referencing parts of us. But when it comes to outside world and other people, we can't use that part of us exclusively um, to, to get that information because we are relating to other people. We're meant to be relating to other people. We're not, it, it's not just me in this situation, it's me and the other person. So you do need to learn to turn that outward a little bit and learn to listen when people give you feedback on what you have or haven't done. So, you know, you're saying we can obsess over things that they feel uh, what they say and feel awful about it, even though other person doesn't even remember it, or even if they do, it hardly affects them. So, so what you're doing is you're thinking you know better than the other person, how the other person is doing. And that's not actually true. That's actually quite obnoxious. And we all do those things, but that is what, what it is. Um, so, so when you're in these situations that you obsess over other people's reaction to what you've said, all you got to do is check in with the other person. Hey, how did this sound to you? I'm, I didn't mean to. I, it occurred to me after the fact that I might have um, that I might have uh, caused you disharmony or pain or uh, caused you to offend you or or whatever. Ask them and then listen to them 
And then that will give your inward facing, sensing your historian, an opportunity to grow and learn more and find new, uh, new facts, new things that are actually facts, which might be that your, what, they might be very surprising. They might be something like, you know, your communication style is so, um, so supportive or that, you know, you, are so worried about hurting other people that you naturally speak in a very nice way to people and you didn't know that so it's possible that you'll find something out that's amazing about yourself that you didn't know but you have to listen you have to listen to what the other person's experience actually has been not what you think it has been so i would encourage both of you to to so depending on where it is, whether it's your adult self or your inner parent, the historian being that part of you, I'd like to challenge you to look for ways to uh, become more and more positive. So to enter the like the positive um, spiral in regards to this. And that starts with asking the other person instead of spending a lot of time on that. Just ask them, just ask them, hey, how did that go for you? I hope I didn't come off as uh, uncaring. Um, I'm worried that I might have uh, hurt your feelings. Is that what happened? And actually, you'll probably find out that most people don't ever even think about what you've said or that, that, that they found it very, very helpful. But you will have to do this work yourself uh, so that you will actually hear it from them. Don't take my word for it. Do it for yourself. Okay, so that's all we have for today, for this week. And um, yeah, let's continue next week again. Thank you for your time today. I look forward to uh, interacting with you. Oh, if you don't already know, you should know. But if you don't already know, we are doing the Pandemic Book Club. That's starting the first week of May. If you haven't already got your own version of or your own uh, copy of the Four People Within ebook that we're going to be working through, head on over to mariasumilov.com and uh, grab the ebook uh, for free. Uh, from the front page and then uh, in a couple of days after that you'll get an email about the book club and we will start I think it's the 6th of May my um, for, for here for Australia so for Europe Africa and the Americas it's going to be the Tuesday I think it's the 5th but anyhow it's my Wednesday or Tuesday so I look forward to hearing from you any feedback always welcome I'll see you soon